Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot 22 versus is here. Today inside of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team, the brand new promo of Foot Freeze versus, right? Is coming out today. We have this loading screen. I wanna talk about these cards that are here and it's gonna be an insane day of content, right? We learned a little bit about this promo yesterday. I'm gonna talk you through what those cards and what those upgrades and how this whole versus promo is gonna look like for this next week. I wanna talk about that, but we have some other things to talk about today, market related. Prime icons could be dropping on the game today, as well as icon swaps. There were some packs added to the code today. I'm gonna to talk about that and how EA did this last year during foot freeze is they dropped prime icons and icon swaps both on the first day. So it could be an insane day of content today and also talk about some insane player of the month that we're still waiting on with the Vinicius Junior player of the month that is almost expected to be dropped today on this game as well as the Premier League player of the month. We will talk about all of that in this video. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. But let's talk about the cards that are at hand, the brand new cards that are coming today the loading screen showcased a few of the cards we already kind of knew were coming because of the leaks. But EA dropped us some information yesterday telling us how this promo was going to work. Choose your side, Fire versus Ice. Foot versus arrives today in FIBA 22, and they showed Pulisic. Now, obviously, Pulisic might be uh, in SBC today. That was the leak. I think he's a part of this graphic because he's going to get a Foot versus card. But let's talk about, right, Foot versus Fire versus ice so how is this going to work well today there are going to be 11 players released into packs with this fire card design the versus fire cards are going to be released first today into packs there's going to be 11 players we know who they are they are leaked of course i will show you those and all of those cards the fire item is going to represent a five star weak foot boost so every single card that is in packs today is going to have a five star weak foot boost on their item. And these cards are going to be in packs from Friday today until Monday. Friday until Monday, these foot versus cards are gonna be in packs. And then, this is where this the ice part comes in, the foot versus ice cards are all going to have five star skill upgrades. So it's basically the same 11 players in packs from Monday, Friday to Monday, and then from Monday to Friday. So team one, as it shows here, and team two are exactly the same as far as we know it. As it says up here, there are 11 players in the foot versus squad. They will line up with two contrasting play styles, right? A five-star weak foot upgrade and a five-star skill upgrade. So the same cards that come into packs today on Friday that will all have five-star weak foot will have five-star skills with maybe a different dynamic image and um, the five-star skills added to their card on Monday. So I don't know if they're gonna mess with the stats or anything like that, but that's how it's gonna work, right? There's the ice cards that are on Monday and the, the fire cards that are gonna be today. Now it says a lot of this is about the biggest rivalries, right? Clashing on the pitch. Um, so I'm interested to see what kind of SBCs and other content they come up with this week. If it's all about rivalries, this seems like it's going to be a one week promo. Again, as it's kind of laid it out here, this foot versus, which looks to be a part of the foot freeze promo. We might actually have the legit foot freeze promo after this, uh, but foot versus is it's like own standalone part of foot freeze, if you will, as it sounds right now. And those are going to be the cards that are in packs today. Now let's talk about the loading screen, right? right? What cards are we getting today in packs from the leaks that we had earlier this week that seem to be spot on the uh, items here that are shown going from left to right. Nico Scholes is a leaked card and this fits his description. The 86 rated one with 87 defense, we're not entirely sure. My guess is it's Kunde or Joe Gomez because those are both going to be in packs today as part of the leaked team. And then this is Angel Correa with 89 shooting. Now, again, these are the promo cards that we will see. Claude Maurice, Correa, Gomez, that's Joe Gomez, by the way, um, Gabriel Jesus, Kunde, Mbabu, Pereira, Rashford, Scholes, Adama Traore, and Valverde. So it's an insane cast of characters getting promo cards today. And supposedly from the leaked stats as well, this promo team is going to be insane. And if you think about it as well, I mean, this th there is going to be a market that is dropping off because this is a huge, huge thing. This is These are the first mass updates to skill moves and weak foot 
this year inside of FIBA 22. Now, they've, they've done a couple skill moving weak foot upgrades occasionally so far, but this is going to be insane because these are huge, big name players. And again, the leaked card stats of these items, these cards look nuts, right? They look absolutely insane with some huge boosts on these cards. So let's just talk about how this is going to affect the market a little bit today. Um, along with the rest of this content that is going to be coming out, there's already been a lot of panic selling. And if you take a look at some prices on this market, you've already seen some cards start to drop off. Even yesterday, as people figured out what this promo was looking like, uh, the inclusion of prime icons, you know, supposedly being added to packs. We'll talk about that. Icon swap packs have been added to the code. We have to talk about that as well. Vinny player of the month. There's just so much going on in this game today. Renato Sanchez was 750 earlier. Right now he's 780K. That's a big time drop off. And if you look at the rest of the market, icons are falling big, right? A lot of people are starting to sell cards, even like Mbappe's gold card. Mbappe gold was 1.38, 1.39 uh, on Thursday. And I, I believe right now he's like 1.33, 1.34. So there's a lot of panic selling going across this whole entire market. Ginola is another one. Uh, Ginola was like 1.7 mil. Uh, to start the day at around rewards time yesterday. And I believe, yeah, right now he's 1.57. So a lot of these cards have dropped off because again, you think about five-star weak foot, five-star skill upgrades. That's massive. That is incredibly, incredibly massive. And you com you combine that with all the insane content that we are going to see. Just a little bit ago, I was taking a look at some icons. As you can see here in the, the transfer market search section, prime icons are starting to show up in the store. That makes me think that we're going to see at least some of them in packs today. Look at this Zidane. This Zidane was just 2.4 mil. He's now back up to uh, 2.55. But these cards, like he was 2.8 yesterday. The, the insane, just the amount of drop-offs on this market right now is absolutely crazy. I think it's going to continue though because of all the insane content that we are going to be seeing today. Now, speaking of content, once again, we're getting those 11 players in packs. I think the SBC for today is going to be a foot versus Christian Pulisic item. Of course, that was the card that EA tweeted out. That was a leak from earlier this uh, week is that Pulisic is going to get a foot versus fire or ice player pick SBC, I would imagine. You know, some people are going back and forth. What do you value more, the skills or the weak foot? I think a lot of people this year value that weak foot and not as much the skills as they did last year, but you still have the option, which I think is really, really cool. I'm interested to see if they have different stats, like this Christian Eric, or not Christian Erickson, Christian Pulisic with a five-star weak foot have more shooting stats. And with the five-star skills, does he have more dribbling stats or will the stats be the same, different dynamic images and just the five-star weak footer skills? That's what I'm curious to see. Now that's the SBC we're expecting, I think today. And the objective we're expecting today, we talked about this yesterday uh, in the video as well, is a uh, man by the name of um, left back, Air Divisi, I'm blanking on his name at the moment, Tagliafico. Tagliafico is the objective card. It'll be a player pick between his fire version or his ice version. So again, the weak foot or the skills, whichever you would like to choose. Probably, I would imagine the weak foot for Tagliafico. He can whip in across or play right back or left back in game. I feel like that would be very helpful for, uh, for an outside back, but that's going to be the objective content today on this game. So that's all about foot versus. Now, it also depends on how you know, packable these cards are. That's going to impact the market as well. We're going to have to go in here and check today at 6 p.m. when these are dropped. Remember, the team of the tournament, team of the group stage cards had a very low pack weight. 2% from a 50K pack is pretty low. So it seems like EA wants to bring this market down with all of the content that's going to be coming out very soon. The panic selling has already started like we talked about. I think they might have a higher pack weight today. But again, we're just kind of to wait and see what EA Sports do with that side of things on the market today. Now, speaking of other big SBCs, the Vinicius Junior Player of the Month, this, this content might start pre-6 p.m. today. Pre-6 p.m. today or at right at 6 p.m., I am expecting the Vinny Jr. 87 rated Player of the Month SBC to be dropped in this game. I think it could be dropped like an hour or two early, so just be watching out for that. That's going to impact the market as well because before the whole promo starts, everybody's going to get started on this Vinny Jr. Everybody's been waiting. Left mids, left wings, left-sided attacking players have been panic sold already. Uh, Gold Neymar is down like 40,000 coins from where he was. A lot of left wings in this game are down. Uh, icons as well, preparing for this Vinny Jr. Player of the Month. Now, again, the last words I have to say about this are 
the uh, team of the group stage, um, Vinny card, his inform, all of this stuff uh, is down. I think I just used the, the wrong item here. Boom. Team of the tournament, Vinny. I mean, he's like 550,000 coins right now. At the moment, this is probably going to drop even more into the day today. It all depends on the price of the SBC as to whether this card bounces back and whether the inform bounces back or if it goes lower, right? Because fodder is not super expensive, but it, we're going to have to see since this player of the month will probably be, a bit, be available for at least 20 days. Um, I think he is, you know, not many player of the months have been super duper good value for like the big name players this year. I wouldn't expect this Vinny Jr. SBC to be anything less than 800,000 coins, but I think that's in a range where a lot of people might start to craft it. So just watch out for that SBC. That's going to make, uh, make some big movements on the market today as well. And then a Premier League Player of the Month SBC too. The Salah POTM is ending. The voting for that has ended too. So I think we're looking at either a Jota, Cancelo, or the favorite I believe is Trent Alexander-Arnold. That should be another Player of the Month SBC that we should be getting today as well. Dude, it's literally an overwhelming day of content today on Friday. Let's get into some other things. We haven't even broken the surface yet on some of these cards. Again, as we mentioned, prime icons are searchable on the transfer market. Last year, as a part of the foot freeze promo, they dropped icons into packs. Prime icons, they didn't do them all at once. They did like two different teams, if you will. Um, and I think I even have a picture to show this from last year, they posted like just, just some of the cards in packs. I don't know if they actually tweeted out a picture. Actually, I don't. I have a picture of icon swaps. Um, but they'll, they might even post a graphic of all the prime icons that they put in packs today. I would imagine that it would be either a half or one third of all the primes coming into packs today. And that is, again, what's causing some insane panic uh, right now. Like the, on this mid Zidane, who is down like three, four hundred thousand coins from where he was. Two, four, five right now at the moment, right? That's down literally 400K from where the Zidane was. These primes are going to be very expensive today. Any prime that comes on the market, whether it's, you know, again, this this can to now these guys are not on the market right now but you can search them and this these were the updates that ea was adding the past couple days these guys are going to be so 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 expensive so i do think you will see some bounce backs um on some of these icons uh like rooney rooney prime might be in the game today right uh raul prime van nistelroy rivaldo like robin van Persie, his prime card in the game uh, so you can see as brand, brand new prime cards that we have not actually seen yet in FIFA potentially released today as well. Uh, is Di Stefano, can you search, uh, or Di Stefano, can you actually search him? You can't. So he's not in the game yet, but that's an icon that's expected to come soon. Prime icons are going to be very expensive. You're going to see some icons on this game that have dropped off a lot. Uh, like, let me check Pushkas. Pushkas 90, 92, right? This car was very low yesterday. He's up right now. I just think you're going to see so much more panic selling on the market today as these primes are rumored to be coming out. Um, and I don't think we're going to get all of them, but we're going to get some of them and that's going to create people to panic sell. Now let's talk about the other thing. Wow, this Eto is getting cheap. 1.4 mil. That is low. So he's dropping a lot. Let's talk about the other thing that is very, very popular right now that is going to impact the market as well. We have icon swap codes. We have icon swap packs in the code. Now these packs don't look that insane. And I'm really wondering after seeing this, um, number one is icon swaps going to be today uh, because last year they dropped it on Friday. Uh, but I also think that they could maybe wait to release this until later on. I feel like we're still missing the 83 times 25, or the 84 times 25, or you know the 84 times 10, whatever packs they were going to release that are like the 80, 81 times 25, that sort of stuff. Um, those are not included with this pack code update, which really makes me wonder is EA taking those that stuff out of icon swaps this year? And are they just making icon swaps solely about icon players or icon packs? And it kind of looks like, I mean, you look at these codes that have been added, guaranteed mid icon upgrade pack, mid or prime upgrade pack, 89 plus mid pack, right? Contains one base or mid icon as a pack that has been added to the store. This screams icon swaps right here. So last year, on basically the day before the Bigfoot freeze promo on Friday, which would be like this year for, for uh, FIFA 22, they added icon swaps and they, they added the packs to the code the night before and then icon swaps dropped the next day. So that's why it's very possible that we might see, this is the graphic from last year, it's very possible we might see icon swaps in FIFA today. 
it's very possible that we would see that. And again, as I'm talking about all these things, Prime Icons, Vinny Player of the Month, Icon Swaps, an insane set of promo cards coming into the game today, it really just does not make any sense that the market would stay high as it has been. Even this Joao Felix, like I know he's going to link to the Angel Correa, but if the new cards have a high promo pack weight today, there's Icon Swaps, Prime Icons, and a Vinny Player of the Month that is out. This card is so high from where he was. He was 600K. And this card is almost 800,000 coins. I think there's a lot of this market that is going to drop off. The team of the group stage cards, they're going to get caught up in this drop off as well. Uh, even some of them are, are still down right now. I just don't really see how a ton of this stuff, uh, there's going to be some panic selling. There's going to be some rebounding, of course, during the day, right? Ben Yedder is already down a decent amount. Atal is up because of his links to Claude Maurice. Um, you know, Llorente is down. Ruben Diaz is down a little bit. Uh, but I think there's going to be more panic selling today heading into 6 p.m. Everybody is going to get scared about all the content that's, that's going to come. Um, and, you know, five-star weak foot and five-star skill players, though, that's that's hype. That's really, really insane. So what I would really keep an eye out for today are maybe some of your out-of-packs cards, even like this Bamba. Bamba, a 102? That's a pretty decent panic sell right there. That's down like a little over 10,000 coins from where he was. Keep an eye on some of these most meta cards that people are very hyped to use, right? Even if it's some of the team of the group stage cards, uh, if you look at the leaked team, right? Uh, do we have a right wing? You know, I don't know what position Jesus is going to be. We've got Adama Traore, so that does not bode well. But you've got guys like Mbabu. You've got guys like Correa that so many people are going to want to try. Claude Maurice, so many people are going to want to try out. The Schultz card even, people are going to want to try him out. So like for Schultz, I'd be worried about the uh, Davies, right? Everybody's using Alfonso Davies right now to link to their brand new upgraded Sule, um, you know, showdown item. If a Schultz card comes out today, which it looks like it is, of course, because of the uh, promo screen here with literally Schultz is on the promo screen. I would expect Davies to have a pretty solid drop off today because that's an item that is 290K. This Schultz card might come on the market at 100K, still have 90 plus pace. I know it's not Alfonso Davies, but it would be a brand new card with a five star weak foot or, you know, five star weak foot today and a five star skill moves on Monday that people might want to go and try out. So I really think that the market drop off that we saw last year in early December and then continued during the freeze promo. I think it's starting today. I really think that it is. I mean, of course, like we said, some cards are, have been down since yesterday, but I really think you're going to see some panic selling today uh, and it's going to get ugly again. You're going to see a lot of prices dropping and it could get even worse if the pack supply and the pack weight on these versus cards is very, very high. So again, I don't know about preview packs. I don't know about uh, the lightning rounds. I'll, actually, you know what? I do know something about lightning rounds. Expect lightning rounds literally all day because they, they're even running lightning rounds yesterday. I remember in, in last night's video, I was buying team of the group stage cards to try to flip after rewards. Yeah, I lost coins doing that. Thank you very much, EA, for dropping lightning rounds um, during uh, rewards. Like two hours after rewards, they dropped, what was it, 100 and 125k lightning rounds. So I bought Kiesa's at like 215k and he went nowhere. He actually ended up going lower after marquee matchups. Uh, so we, we lost some coins yesterday. We made some coins yesterday. It was a mixed bag. Traded with some icons that were getting panic sold like crazy. Like I bought this Essien at 809, sold it at 867. I bought this at 530, sold at 536, sold at 587, bought this Owen at 323. Um, a lot of these are like break evens or you know a slight loss. And then these Vinnies, of course, I bought all these at like 318 to 315 so a little bit of profit there which is nice uh but it's just been it's just been up and down uh and i think it's going to be a lot more down today as well people are going to wake up today and see the prime icons or searchable uh on on the market maldini you know pele again i don't think all these are going to be put into packs today uh and there's still a possibility that ea would not do prime icons or icon swaps today and they may say they might save that for later on or maybe they do prime icons today and they wait for swaps but all of this stuff is potentially going to be coming today. So just get ready. It's going to be a crazy Friday. There's going to be a lot to cover and a lot to watch. But that's the video for today, boys. Foot versus and foot freeze 
and this whole promo with everything that's supposed to be coming out is, is going to be crazy. La last thing I will say is the Etienne Capu SBC, which actually I have to go to my, my team to show you this card because I did the Capu SBC yesterday, uh, known already as the Walmart Vieira and the cheap Vieira. Uh, this dude got an insane, insane stat boost on his card. He looks really decent, 60,000 coins. This card alone crashed a lot of midfielders yesterday in the game, especially like icon midfielders. Uh, people sold like uh, the likes of Makalele and the Essien. That's why I was flipping Essien because he was down a lot. This card is really good value if you have a little bit of fodder in the club, if you need something to craft and he fits your team. He links to Benzema, links to Fakir. Uh, it's just, it's a fun card is what it is, right? It's not going to be the most meta item in the world, but it's fun. So GG's to EA for dropping a pretty cool SBC and making that card very, very usable, uh, dropping that yesterday on the game. So that's the video for today, boys. Friday's going to be crazy. I I'm excited to get on the game and watch and, and see what happens, especially on the market as we see prices move. Uh, we'll of course make some coins, but it's going to be a wild one. It's going to be a very, very crazy day today. A lot of fluctuations. So make sure you get in the Twitch stream. We're going to be making some coins there and trading and watching the content unfold. Uh, around the content drop. So make sure you get involved there. That link is in the description. If you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. It is Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.